and welcome to day six and today we're going to be featuring the new set Easter Sugars. This set is big. It is six by eight and each of the characters measures about three and a quarter inches tall. So I start out by cutting a scalloped slimline die and then I cut a white piece of paper that uh, fits just inside of it and I took some oxide ink and added some clouds to the paper. And then I went ahead and I cut out grass with the clouds and grass die and attached it to the card and then I clipped off the little excess piece right there. And then I cut out some clouds from our uh, Valentine's slimline die and I went ahead and did the big one, the big puffy one, and then the one that is not so puffy at the bottom, I did it coming off of the card cut off the little part that was hanging over and then attached that little part on the other side of the card as you will see here. I just got that glue in today. It is Art Glitter Glue with the fine tip point on it and um, I really like this glue. I've been using Mono Multi Glue and I'm always having to fix the tip of it to get the glue out or take the bottom cap off. So I highly recommend it. I actually got it from Amazon and it was delivered within two days. So the sentiment I'm using is from our Spring Thing stamp set and it says happiness is you. And I thought this went perfectly with the little boy with the tulips. I used my Misty to position it correctly and then just used some Memento Tuxedo Black ink to stamp it on. And I did end up stamping it twice because I wanted it just a little bit darker than what it was turning out to be. So after I stamp this, I go ahead and I'm going to finish up the, making the card before I start on the little boy. So I attached my white card base to the blue scalloped slimline shape. And then I'm going to go ahead and make a card bait make the card so it is actually smaller than the scalloped part of the slimline card so I go ahead and I take my cardstock and I fold it and get a nice crease on it and then I match it up to my card and um, use a pencil to mark where I need to cut it off and then I cut off the amount that was excess and then I'm just going to go ahead and glue it right on to my card base. And so as you see, it works just perfectly. So now I'm going to go ahead and stamp the little boy with tulips. And so I have a piece of Copic paper that I'm going to use to color on. And I position him. And then I'm going to go ahead and prep him for stamping. And to prep him, I wipe him with a baby wipe. And then I use a pencil eraser and I go around all the raised parts of the stamp to get off any chemicals or residue that might be on there from the manufacturing process. And then I will take the baby wipe again and wipe off any of the little uh, pencil eraser pieces that might be left. And then I go ahead and ink him up. And again, I'm using the Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And I only had to stamp him once because he was all prepped to be used. So I'm going to start coloring him, and I went with my usual go-to colors for the face. I start with E-O-O-O-O, and then I come in with a little E-O-2 to add my shadowing. And then for the little character, I gave him that little bit of a nose hump there. And then I come with, in with E-O-O to start blending out the E-O-2. And I also give a little bit on that nose to start blending that out too. And then I use E-O-O-O to continue to blend and then I end up using the E-O-O-O-O at the end just to make sure everything's blended out nicely. For his hair I used a little bit of E-13 and the E-15 to add some of the shadowing into his hair. And then I'm going to finish up with a little bit of E-77 just to add darkness to his little bits of hair. And I actually wish I had gone just a little bit darker on this, but I like the final results. And then I went back with a little E11 at the end just to make sure everything was blended out. And for his shirt and shoes, I went with my favorite green 
springy combo, which is YG21, YG23, and YG25. These, this green combo just makes me really happy. It reminds me of once spring, you, the grass starts turning green, and you know spring is just around the corner, and you get all those fresh spring smells, and everything is just coming back to life after the long, hard winter, and all that snow. Maybe if you get snow. So I'm just blending out the colors and I'm using them over and over again to help blend out and really give it a good, uh, nice shadowing on his shirt and his shoes. And then we're going to move on to his pants. And for his pants, I wanted to give him kind of khakis. So I went with E41 and E42. So I based it with the E41. And then I came in and I was adding, sh adding shadowing with the E42. Now on his little pant cuff, they go over the top of his shoes. So I wanted to make sure I didn't put the coloring right down on top of his shoe. I wanted it to be a little bit higher. And then I added shadowing um, on the bottom of his pants towards his ankle and also along his pant leg there and then along the uh, sides of him too. So I wanted the wrapping for the tulips to just be white. So I just used a little W1 just to add a little bit of color and depth to it. And then, he, of course, he's got to have red tulips because tulips are usually red. I know they come in other colors, but red is usually standard. So I started with the dark, lightest color, and then I'm working dark. And I like to use R59 to give a really nice deep color on my red combos. When I cut him out with my scissors, I went right up to the black line on him so I did not leave any of the white around him. So that leaves a little bit of white paper along the edges. So I take a Copic marker, number one, black 100, and I'm just going around the outside of the image, coloring the little white bits that are left over so that he looks nice and finished when I put him on the card. Otherwise, you'd see these little white bits here and there, and it just didn't look very good. So I finished him, and I'm going to go ahead and add him to the card. And since my card is pretty one-dimensional, I decided to use some foam tape to pop him up. So I add some strips of the foam tape to him, and then I'm going to peel off the backing and attach him to the card, and then my card is finished. Thank you for joining me on day six. Tomorrow's our last day, and then the release is on Friday. So I hope to see you back here again tomorrow. Bye-bye, and have a great day. Mm -hmm.